Hello and welcome to Tichi Network. Today I have a very special guest. He's an actor, he's a producer, and he's a model with Tichi. He's been in many shows and many movies that are so big, and I'm sure you're gonna recognize his face. Hi Vincent, Hi. thank you so much. Love you. I'm so happy to be here in uh, Leesburg. Uh, tonight is the DC Dancing Stars Gala and Maria Coakley invited me and I said this will be a great opportunity to see you and talk about all the great things with THE and the amazing agency that Linda started so many years ago. Yes. So did you start as a model or as an actor? Certainly. So when I was uh, very young in Baltimore, Maryland, uh, my sister had brought me into her agency and they asked me if I would want to model for the Macy's uh, teen show. And I said, sure. And so at a very young age, I modeled for Macy's, the teen fashion shows that, are, that happened in DC, Virginia, and Maryland. And uh, it was wonderful. And then after that, I went to school at Johns Hopkins where I studied epidemiology, biomedical ethics, and biostatistics. But I always knew that I really liked the industry of modeling and fashion and runway shows and uh, TV shows and feature films. And so after graduating from Johns Hopkins, uh, I went to South Beach. And that's where I was jogging on the beach and a designer came up to me and he says, I think of you modelo. I'm like, okay. And it was Johnny Versace. And so I modeled for Johnny Versace in Bell Harbor shops. And uh, it was just great. He was such an, a dynamic, wonderful uh, person in my life who really very much supported um, the celebration of the female beauty, of the male beauty. He really uh, made clothing that really kind of emphasized all the great elements. And, uh, you know, he would cut on the bias for women and the guys' suits were always so perfectly tailored and they were so uh, beautiful with Baroque detailing with uh, the Greek key as well as the Medusas and all the detailing with the gold buttons and all of the, um, the studying. It was just spectacular to work with him. If there is any dream way to start your career, that's it. Right? It doesn't get any better than that. I, I was so honored to work with him and with Donatella and Paul Beck and Antonio D'Amico in South Beach um, and to go to Casa Casalina to his house, which was uh, such a beautiful palatial home. And um, I know that FX right now, they're doing the Versace story. And it should be interesting to see how authentic it is. So we'll see if Ryan Murphy makes it the true Versace experience as we knew it in the 90s. Yeah, so how did you get from there into acting and producing? Uh, certainly, so after graduating from Johns Hopkins and after moving to South Beach, I then kind of segued into film and TV. I did a movie when I was a bit um, younger called Hairspray in 1987 in Baltimore, Maryland. And uh, that movie was directed by John Waters. So I always had participation in film, TV, and in the modeling world in some way. But I always really focused, and this is something that I always want to tell emerging models, actors, um, you know. Pay attention to these words. Always be sure that you finish your education and really suss out the things that you like to do. Modeling and acting, that will always be there for you, but really try to hone in on your life skills. If you want to be a writer, if you want to be a doctor, if you want to be a architect, if you want to stu study civil engineering, whatever it is, definitely do that because it's something that is so important that uh, you have that education behind you. Modeling is always something great and you should be dedicated to it, but you also should be cognizant of another life career. So what or who inspires you to become a better professional into whatever you do? Well, Flavia, I am inspired every day by everyone that I meet, all of my co-stars, all of my directors, all my um, producers that I work with to really be the best I possibly can. And I'm very fortunate. I have Beverly Hills Christmas 2 coming out, another movie directed by Christian Filippella, a graduate of AFI, award-winning director. And I have so many other projects that I'm so proud to be part of, and I get so inspired by everyone. I go to set, and someone that I haven't worked with in 10 years, I see him on set, and 
we see each other and we get to hear about their experiences and I get inspired by them. Is there a person that I've worked with, an actor or an actress, that you it's like your favorite person and every time you work together you're like, yes! Yeah. So I was uh, in the movie Riding in Cars with Boys as a linebacker uh, directed by Penny Marshall and I got to work with Drew Barrymore and I have to tell you that Drew to this day is one of the most genuine, sincere, amazing, kind, uh, gracious actresses that we know and um, you know currently she's on the Santa Clarita Diet, this amazing show, watch it, it's a lot of fun um, and I find that you know that's someone that is very inspirational to young women to be a great actress, she's really wonderful and she's just part of our Hollywood legacy being a Barrymore and she's so great. So who do you consider your idol in the industry? Um, well I have many many people that inspire me and idols I don't know if I have one idol per se but people that are like uh, Scorsese and people like Spielberg and people like um, uh, the creative ones as and also uh, Nelson Mandela these people are icons to me and they inspire me to have um, you know uh, tell stories using flickering pictures which are emotion pictures um, telling stories evoking emotion and having a catharsis that maybe you are struggling with something and you are dealing with some kind of celebration and as a result you watch a movie and then all of a sudden you have your own epiphany and you have your own kind of resolution because you just watched a movie that was so compelling and moved you. A few things that uh, you can see that I'm in, of course Beverly Hills Christmas One is on Up TV, Uplifting Television. It'll be airing all this year up until I think January on Up TV, uptv.com, uh, Beverly Hills Christmas with Dean Cain, former Superman, Donna Spangler, uh, Brandon Tyler Russell, uh, Kirsten Lee, Simona Fusco, Andy Cohen, um, Gosh, the list goes on. Uh, John Savage of The Deer Hunter, a really great cast. And then I did an adaptation of the comic book Rotten Tail. I play uh, Peter Rotten Tail's uh, school teacher back in the 70s. And that movie will be out, Deprivation. And if you look on www.imdb.com, once again, that's www.imdb.com, and put in Vince DePaul, you'll be able to see my filmography. And uh, to see everything. That I, I have, and I was a little bit like, oh my God, I can never memorize all this. It's so much. It's remarkable. I'm like, I can't believe I did that many episodics and TV shows and movies and independent features. Not only that, but you got a few prizes too. Last year you got an Emmy? Yes, I'm so very honored. I have received two consecutive Emmys in 2015 and 2016. Um, I am so honored the Bay the Series has been recognized by the Academy of Television Arts and Sciences and Gregory J. Martin is the creator of it and he has garnered many Emmys and the cast has garnered many Emmys and um, Best Leading Actor, Christos Andrews, Best, you know, I like all of these great accolades and the Bay is available on Amazon Prime, the Bay the Series and it's a wonderful kind of show. I play Father Leone, so I give spiritual guidance to uh, the Bay City folks. <laughs> so I hope you will enjoy it. So with everything that you have accomplished in your life and everything that's going on, where do you see yourself five years from now? Five years from now, I see myself um, helping other young actors and young artists and young models to uh, encourage them to find what they're looking for and seek out their dreams and I hope maybe with my work that they too get inspired to do great things and uh, I'm always so very proud of THE because THE has nurtured so many careers of not only models and actors but also stylists and people that groom us. Uh, so I'm very honored that I got to work with Pascal Lamar oh my gosh for a decade and every time we shoot a photorial or we shoot an ad she's there to make sure that the models look amazing and I'm I'm very fortunate that THE is a one-stop organization where you can get your talent um, from your stylist all the way to all of your uh, models and they have such great experience and they're such great professionals and then your shoot is amazing because of it. So THE, I'm proud of you and uh, I'm proud to be I guess one of the 
early as THE Talon, I think, uh, early on. So thank you. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and make your comments and share on social media. Do everything you can to everyone spread the word. You should enjoy um, this new year and wishing everyone a wonderful and healthy 2018.